Bloody hell. Aunt Lasga, plough the chain just to the right of it, and in the background, the shants, the shants. Three miles out and it's just glass. Wells. Yeah, there's the, another morning where you need a welding mask on as soon as you open the curtains. So this is the plan. That little island there is called Ant Lasgear. And the one to the right is Ladder chain and Lord McDonald's table. Right. Firstly, we've got this small matter of this island to do in between Ant Lasgar, it's called a Lasgar. Lasgar. Ant Lasgar. I can't, what did this, what it, was it a mile and summit to that? Four and a half miles. What, to that? Oh yeah, it was a mile from this headland. This headland on the right, it's a mile out from that, but we're going to go straight out. Now the worrying thing is, we're in a shipping lane. This is the Bay of Camus Ban. We're leaving with the north coast of Sky, right on the northern tip. Right, the waters are stirring a bit here now. We're probably hitting a bit of tide. Apparently there's no way to get out of here at this island. Oh look at this, we're in this glassy sea now. We're almost a mile out. It's just like a sheet of glass with a bit of swell on it. What an absolute glorious treat this is. This is absolutely glorious. Just to travel offshore like this to one of these remote islands where humans very rarely go. Let's just take a short break here now to observe the style of the Jesus of Kayaking. Just look how every paddle dip is perfection in his Kermit the Green boat. It drives the ladies wild. <laughs> his stroke is amazing. And that's before they get set on his dazzling personality. The only sound you can hear out here is the waves on that beach back there. You can hear him rolling a fag. You can hear him lighting it. And that is it. Right, we have now got the Golden Trio of Scottish Islands here. We've got Ant Lasgear at the front of us, approximately a mile off ours. Then flatter chain at the back with Lord MacDonald's table. Come on, what's happened to the focus again? And in the background is the Shiants, the Shants Islands. And they are magical islands. Uh, you could do a trip out there and cross over to, um, it is suggested, over to Lewis and get the ferry back, which would be a journey of, it would be immense, really would be. And we could have done it this week, we really could. But we're coming to the end of two weeks now and we're still we're a bit stiff and a bit sore, aren't we? My left shoulder's a little bit stiff here, I must admit. We're only going easy now. We've been doing 10 plus miles every trip, haven't we? What have we done? 14, 
15, 16. He did 17 one night, he did a bit more than me, I did 16. We're in the realm of the puffin now. And that looks like a fine example there. Gotta keep me moving down. And I might just get a good look at him. Is that a puffin? It sure is. Lovely little thing, look at that. Ooh. He shed them beaks, you know. To be nice to find one of them. Imagine that up front of your boat, puffing beak, yeah? Either that or get one and wring his neck and just get one anyway. <laughs> Look at that, it just, um, that's the kind of humour he amuses him. Third Nazis. Yeah, and boy are they Nazis. Look, there's a puffin just off Jesus' boat. Oh, we have to kind of a slick or something here, midwater, what's going on? At one point it used to be Parmella Anderson, but now it's the puffin. Look at that, fantastic stuff, isn't it? Well, come on, don't go all shy on us. He is alive with birds here. There's a hell of a lot more than meets the eye. I can see them all out there. Loads of them out there. Ooh, little puffin, look, look at that. Ooh, right off front of me, boy, look at that. Another puffin there. So that's the northern western tip of... <laughs> of Sky there, and that's Aileen, oh, I forgot the name again of that island, that's an offshore island right at the back, or right off the end, and this here is, finally, woof, Ant Lasgir, Two point five one miles in, bit of current off there mate, look how many birds is behind Jesus, Here, this is the backhand of Ant Lasga and it's uh, basalt. Oh, it's dragging me right in there. Oh, yeah. Look, oh, the smell of guano is quite smelly. It's even with birds. Look at them all. Absolutely even with birds. Look at them all up there, it's like the Fire Island, it's fantastic. Wow, look at all them. Hello there. The puffins will be on the top in the grass. They're like the burrows, don't they, in the grass. These lot nest on the rocks, the guillemots, the razor bills. Two point six seven miles it was from Camus Ban. Stay there, that's not bad here. Look at them. One goes the all ago. They're all youngins them. You that with them green paddles. I haven't paddled once since they took off. They keep flapping one another at eyes. Now look what happens when I pass, because I'm not moving my paddle. I'm not moving my paddle in a minute before I get swept on them rocks. The swell has just come absolutely out of nowhere. Look at the birds out there. That's the view back to sky. Wow, it's amazing. I love places like this. Look at all them behind Matt's boat. They must think he's the mother or something. 
Oof, you won't get any mothering off him, I'll tell you that. There'll be no sympathy there. The seals, birds, gannets, puffins, you name it. Here's the seals. Absolutely even with birds here. Seems like there's even more here this side. Look at them all up top there. Bird metropolis. Oh, that smell of that sea here is just lovely and fresh. You smell it lovely and clean and clear and fresh. I'm not going to go too close in. I don't want to cause a stampede. Look at that rock there. It's, it's just perfect for nesting, isn't it? Look how Mother Nature colonises stuff. Wow, look at that. Get away. That is just a work of art, that rock there, what they've done to that. That really is. Mainly guillemots, really. Kitty wakes there. Uh, the puffins will be right on top, sadly. You can't see them. Is that one there sticking out its head at the top? Can you see? Get your lucky bag binoculars on it. <laughs> Here, so drifted in. Look at them all here. Whoa, that was close. Christ. I thought it was going to whack me that log all that. To add more weight to the theory that birds of a feather flock together. Oh, here's the kitty wakes. All in their own separate colony. Looking back to where we came from. Oh. Absolutely even my birds. So here we are at Ant Lasga, Lasgia, whatever it's called. And if we double the distance, it's flatter chain. Lord MacDonald's table, and we get to have a break on there and a butty in a Hot refreshing. I've got the sun cream on here, I mean it's that it's quite strong. That's where we've been. Fantastic stuff. That island looks even better from here. Looks fantastic from shore, doesn't it? What a cracking spot that was. I'll be surprised if this is as good. I don't think this will have as many birds on. Three miles out and it's just glass. <laughs> Look at that. Three point two four miles out to sea on a glassy sea. Look at that. We could go all the way to Hebrides today if we wanted. Just look at this. 3.5 miles offshore. It's just got calmer as we've got out. There's the island behind us. Ant Lasga. Jesus is there somewhere, I can't see him. Three and a half miles out on the mill pond. You don't go upset Alan now and show him some of this, are you, when you get to his house? Oh my god, it's just an absolute dream. Oh, little puffin.
All on his own. The slather chair in the background. Yeah. Huh? Come on, lad, jump up back. We'll give you a lift if you want. The Jesus and the seal and the puffin. Oh, the seal's gone too. Jesus and the puffin. Look at that sky over the Hebrides. Look at them clouds. Pastel colours. Puffin. Now they try to keep still. How come they always go to your side? It's a beast. This former. What's going on? Is that it? What's going on? Oh, don't go. <laughs> Here's another. Is this another one here? He's going telling him now. Yeah, they're a pair of gay boys, them in them boats. Here he is, here he is. Here he is. That guillemot thinks he's a puffin, look. <laughs> look at them clouds on the Aberdeen over there. What a day. What an absolute dream of a day. These are all puffins, look. Oh, look at that! <laughs> well, lad. You weren't expecting that, was you? Eh? Nearly there. Five miles out here, look at this. Five miles off. Five miles in, five miles out, whatever you want to call it. A former's turn. Man, former, what about that then? Look at this now, the former's are heckling us, going in for a look. Look how they skim them waves. Absolutely incredible skill. Got a little porpoise here now. It's very difficult to see him because I can't see what I'm doing in this uh, screen at all. There's a couple of them. You'll hear them if anything. Look at these two coming here now. Olmers are coming in. Puffins, guillemots. Ooh, a razor bill. Look. What are you doing? <laughs> I thought it was going to itty my head. Puffin soup. Look at that. Now then, that's where we was yesterday, that's Ruba Hoonish. That's Aileen Troddy, that's the island in between it. Duntulm Castle, Duntulm Island. And here we are, finally. Six miles in. 
six miles, three hours, stopped off there at Aunt Lasga. We've got to head in here, this is Lord Macdonald's table, to try to see if we can get through the arch. I think it might have dried out now, but we've got to try all the gannets here now. The views out to the Hebrides are stunning. I see it's dried out that cave now. Absolutely new to that. Here's the fulmers. The wind's gone up for some strange reason. That's where we're going to go in a bit. One land over there. Via all that. Absolutely thick with seabirds, it is. Rafts and rafts of them. And the more you look, the more you see. I know it sounds obvious, but look at the views. Look at this. Fantastic stuff. We even got a black back gull that owning us. Look at that. 6.5 miles from Camus Moor. Shock, it's dried out. I knew it would. Seal. Kitty wakes, oh, it's roasting here now at that wind. Oh, look at that. We would have never got through that. Oh, would have had to have been. It's probably high water only, that one. No. This is Lord MacDonald's table. With the tide going on out there now. That's looking back to the mainland. There's Aunt Lasga where we've been, where we came. Halfway across. 6.6 .6 miles it is to here from Camus Moor. It is a bit there, yeah. It is a bit there, yeah. Never mind, we've got all this to explore. What a shame. Find a nice spot to land. We are hoping to get through, but... Can't change time and tide, wait for no man. Wow, oh, look at this place. This is wild. This is wilder than wild. Ooh, it's like the scary's on steroids, isn't it? I'm liking this. Gonna land first and then we'll explore it after. I don't know about you, I've got a... I need a peg for ending me... Me, will, me little willy. Right, out there is the rock call. I can't remember, it's just a something oig skier or something just a rock with a beacon on it it looks like blackpool tower from here but it's not through the where matt's going is the shiants in the background quite distinctive shaped islands and here we are at flatter chain oh that's um aileen troddy Because the first man that landed uh, trod on a dog egg. Oh, there's some overfalls there. We're really ready for a landing spot now. Turn it round now, has he seen a different way through or something? This is the most supreme marine environment. It's absolutely fabulous. That sky in the background, the north coast of sky. 
Oof. There's Lord McDonald's table. And all down the north. Running through. Running from right to left. Where's he managed land there? But I can't land there. That tide had hold of me there, it's like I was dragging a parachute behind me at water. Coming across here. My God, it's absolutely fantastic. Hi. Some kind of lagoon in there, look at that. Jesus. There I go in. I'll time it right with swell. There's the one that's going in. There's going down. It's going up. Oh, oh, oh. oh. that's clumsy. The wind, oh, the wind got all of me just as I went through. What is this place? I'll tell you what it is, it's one of them. Whee! Oh my god, we're swelling here. That bird hit the boat then. Hey, oh, what are you doing? Jesus, look at the swelling there. Just an absolutely incredible experience. I'm dying for a slash me. Wow, look at that, it's like the fans. This is one fantastic spot. Camera's going away here, look at it. Well sealed, it's our turn. I'm afraid to say we've got to have somewhere for lunchy. Here we are on Leg Break Beach. 
It's amazing here, high water and all these gullies for a seal to swim into. Right, here we are. Flather chain. Lord McDonald's table. Don't know what the other ones are called. This is as far as I'm going to go, but what a view. Look at that, people. We're off the northwest tip of Sky, right off the end of it. Lord McDonald's table. Flather chain. See the Kerrang over there. Aunt Laz gear to the right. If I swivel round, you can see the Outer Hebrides. Now then, we're just about to set off. The flood tides started, so it's going to try and push us down there now. And we want to go down there, but we've got the tides completely wrong. There's nothing we can do, we can't change the tides. And then just to add a bit more fun to it all. We've got that beast coming through as well. This is just the most fabulous place to kayak here. Absolutely love it, it's really wild. It's just like the Skerries at Anglesey, only there's far more of it. There's a big turn colony down there. Staying away from them, they start dive bombing you. Oof. I don't want to disturb any of them, whether they dive bomb me or not. We should be able to get straight through these islands here now when we're coming back, I think. And hopefully we'll get through the arch in Lord McDonald's table, which had dried out before. That'll be just the icing on the cake. The tide's coming right up on the boat now. Ooh, you don't get a minute's peace. We landed at perfectly the wrong time, just as the tide turned. I don't want to save time it to come through that gap at this time while the tides turn. If they have, it's quite spectacular. Spectacular timing. Matt's running away from that shape, he's scared of it. <laughs> right. Here we go. Part two. Oh, it's miles off us. We want to well, we would have encountered it somewhere over there between there and that Ant Laz gear. Looks like it's struggling a bit to me. Okay. Okay. Eight miles on the clock. We're heading back. I'm going to try and get through this gap here that I saw before. The swells going through was quite horrendous. I didn't fancy it. Just about to lose it to high water, the all in out spot. What an absolutely sensational place we are in here. Really, yeah. No way. Oh, no. That couldn't have been it. That couldn't have been the gully. No, it's a different one, that. There's not enough room in there. <laughs> that seal shit itself. We are about to negotiate a precarious gully. No, oh, this weren't it, it was a different one. Straight across there, that gap between them two islands. Yep, there's the tide. I don't know if you can see, it's running from right to left. Absolutely mad with birds. 
Nada. Oh my god. I am not near through that. The big question is, is does it bottom out after a big swell? I don't know and I don't want to find out. No, I'm giving that on a miss. Little tide here. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh, that swell carried me through. Look at that, beautiful. Oh my god, I've actually timed something right. Whoa! It's absolutely mad here. Look at the birds. I bet the place never sleeps. You go over a bit of a shelf then, it's all the kelp. Don't splash me camera. Wow, this is just fabulous, this place. Loved every minute of it here. Whoa! That's a bit wrong gully then. You're not coming through from right there then. This has been the best view of it all, the most memorable bit is here. This reminds me of Anglesey Skerries only on a far greater scale. Evening light now. Uh, it's amazing. It's always that swell. Amazing. Ooh, another gap there. I ain't going through that either. Not in this well. It's so unpredictable. See Matt there paddling into the tide. There's that boat, boat look coming down that ship. I said boat. That's our target back over there. Aunt Laz gear. <laughs> oh. You're not going for it. After you. Don't bother with course guide for Middleton and Wood. I'll call up in funeral service. That was that gully then, wasn't it? With a right turn. Yeah. This is the last bit of it before we leave. Just one last gully. We've run that back end, what we've not seen, but. See that fulmer there? Did you see that? Showboating, isn't it? Right, looks like we're going to commit suicide here with this port with tanker here. Well, I've got to tell you, mate, I thought that was absolutely sensational in there. Look at it there now. No time to explore it, all, is it? Matt has a last look at Flather Chain. And Lord McDonald's table. Wonder if he's ever been up there, Lord McDonald, and had some eat. Another look at it from that back of the van with a nice golden crescent. Yeah. To be honest, quicker than you think this tanker. It looks totally different now in that light, doesn't it? Hello. 
So I thought so you were. The general synopsis at midday. Hi, Humber, one zero two four, dissipating by midday tomorrow. No. Uh, or five. Okay, you're going down, oh, oh no. Oh. Ah, it's down for a fallout on its own number one. A six and seven sixty seven. Yep. <laughs> what what's coming through? That was one of them sheer waters again, I'm sure of it. Sheer water and a puffin. Hey, do you want to laugh? Get right up close to it and shout Alu Akbar. <laughs> So we're going to wait and let it pass, but um, we ain't got all night. So we made a start, as long as we keep that there, there's no chance we're going to collide with that now, even if you tried. Honest go. We can head straight for the island now, there's no way that we're going to have a collision with that thing. Well. We wouldn't have a collision with it, it would have a collision with us. Probably doing about 12 knots, something like that. Can't quite make out what it's called with my eye. See if I can see it afterwards on the uh, on the video. The closest I want when I get to one. I'd say how far away we are, it's about, I'd say a quarter of a mile, something like that, I don't know. Probably less, close enough. Look at that bow wave, imagine that coming at you. Oof. Ha! The noise of them engines must absolutely drive you around bend if you work on one of them all day. All day and all night, oh my god, it drives me around bend. I can hear them for hours when they've gone. God knows what it sounds like underwater for uh, animals and stuff. This tide's really taking us down now. The bow wave off it. Whee! Popwas. Again, I cannot see a thing what I'm filming here. I'm just hoping. Okay, we're approaching Ant Lads Gear on the way back and it could be that we're just in time because look what's heading down town, look at these puffins again, come ahead of it, what's on its way up the channel. We're looking and thinking, what is this big blue thing here at the back of us? Tommy Nodder. Hey, what's up with you? Hey. Yeah, we're back at Ant Lars Gear. Look at that beast burning down on us. That is just perfection up there for the birds, isn't it? Look at that. Whoa, is Matt going to get in sporty mode? 
Oof. Ooh, we made it just in time. Oh, look at that. Carved all them. Wasn't me, honest. And that's where we've been. How different it all seems now, now we've done it. It was amazing, I, oh, I really loved it. Oh, look at this swell here. Whoa, are we? That is swell -tastic. It's gone a bit cooler now, it's gone a bit fresher completely. Wow, look at that. I thought it cooled off all of a sudden. The sun's gone behind the cloud. My God, it didn't half make a difference, that. There's even another one coming up the channel now. Oh, it is a busy shipping lane. It's not busy, busy, but... Busy for us, like. There's one. There's the other coming up the channel. There you go. That's it. Two and a half miles to finish, this could be the end for me on Sky. It's been absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, as good as anything I've done. Is it as good as better than Cornwall? Or I'll need time to think about it and look at everything when I get back. It's certainly, it's, it's, it's definitely matched it. Definitely. There it all is, halfway across, there's an all in that last gear. Ladder chain, it looks absolutely amazing. And look at that, there's another ship we've missed. Can't see another one coming. This could well be the end of my trip, it's been absolutely fantastic. Really has. It's freshening up now this weather. What a spectacular view, look at that. Just one of so many on this trip. And this feels like the end of the sky trip, it really does. If for no other reason, at this moment, I don't think we've any work paddle. Especially on this course, we're going to have to move course if we did. Because we've done it all. Not done it all, we've done all what we want to do. That has been exceptional. Well, it's been some world-class biking here, as good as we've ever paddled, haven't we? Yeah. Tough, isn't it? What? I want to put an expenses claim as well. No mink whales. Two, yeah, them. The basking sharks. Definitely yep. fun on fuel for them. Yeah. And for our next visit, can they uh, rub some of those green slime off the rocks? Absolutely. Make the landings a little bit less forgiving. They're more forgiving. All it needs is a bottle of bleach, isn't it? Yeah, just somebody out there with a brush. Yeah, one of them council lackeys. Give them a warning, that Give them a... Right, trigger. Remember trigger when they said how long has he had that brush? He's had it 30 years, four words and five handles, something like that. Awesome. Here we go. 14.4, 14 and a half miles again. I don't know if you can see my hand. We're gripping that paddle for a week. Oof. 
It's like a bit of me some there. Look at it there, me some. Action man's hand, and I've been gripping paddle as lightly as I can. I'm concentrating on gripping the paddle lightly, deliberately, as lightly as possible. Well, that has been another sensational day. Well, this is definitely it on this course, whatever happens. We've done it all, not done it all, but done all the bets we want to do. That view out there is absolutely magnificent. Oh my god, mate, I can see a mink whale. Can you, can you imagine it there? One just went past. Needs mushrooms, mate. I'll find the fish. Definitely needs mushrooms.
shall we talk about then? The weather? It's hard to imagine conditions getting any better, to be honest. <laughs> 